Look how bright it is outside. And it's only it is only 6:50 in the morning right now, September 27 here in Japan, but 26 in America. So today is actually my dad's birthday, so I just sent him a little message and said happy birthday with a bunch of cake emoticons after it. <laughs> so anyways, I'm about to go meet Lorenz at the school gym, and we're gonna go do this. I haven't eaten anything yet, so uh, here we go. All right. Finally made it here. Lorenz. Oh, she's so much dude. Yeah, man. Be the best friends with you, Dan. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Yep. 7.40 right now. Woo. So, Lorenz left because he had some things to attend to. He's going to Okinawa next week. That's pretty cool, man. So, I'm just here by myself now. Finishing this up, and then I'm gonna go grab some breakfast because I haven't eaten anything. I'm freaking hungry right now. One foot on the street, one foot in the ass. One foot on the street, one foot in the rain. Good afternoon, everyone. So now I'm at the school, and I just uploaded a video, dude. After I got home from uh, that workout, I was like, I'm gonna take a shower, go back to the school, and do stuff. I got so sleepy. I fell asleep for like an hour and a half. Have you, have you ever had that feeling where you take a nap and you wake up after and you just feel like complete crap? Because that's, that's exactly how I felt. I took that nap, I woke up and I was like, I feel freaking terrible. But then I came to the school and now I feel great. So, oh also, so I'm probably in my like new lesson for my other school on Thursday. I'm doing, like at one point I show uh, the OxyClean commercial by Billy Mays. And now, and now I've watched that commercial so many times, I really want to buy some OxyClean. And there's a, there's actually a, um, a home center here that sells OxyClean. So I think I'm either going to go there today and tomorrow and get me some OxyClean. <laughs> oh man, look at that. So yeah, look at the view. Nice view of the uh, courtyard here. Alright. So that's what's going on right now. Alright guys, here I am. It is September 28th, Sunday, and uh, I am now at the home center. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure they have OxyClean in there, so I'm gonna try to buy some OxyClean for my shoes, man. Look at that, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, man. So, like, on the weekends, dude, you totally, like, yesterday and today, I was just so exhausted. Today, I woke up at, like, 10.30 in the morning or whatever, and, like, and I think part of the reason is, you know, when we're in America, when I was in Texas or whatever, you know, you have like the luxury to drive anywhere you want to go. You have a car or whatever, you can get to places easy. It's not really physically taxing, but over here in Japan or whatever, I mean, not everyone has a car, so if I want to go anywhere, I have to bike. And that's uh, like, getting to this home center alone was a 30 minute bike, bike ride one way. So, uh, you know, just like throughout the week, you're getting to each school, you have to either walk or bike or whatever. It's kind of just, I don't know, like builds up and then finally on the weekend you're just like, fuck, and then you're gone, man, you're gone. So anyways, I'm gonna go inside this home center, see if I can find some OxyClean, and yeah. Don't just clean it, OxyClean it. Hey guys, so today is September 29th, it's already like uh, 9 o'clock at night. I didn't really record anything today because honestly, it's pretty boring. I was just sitting on my desk all day at school and I was really tired. So I didn't really get anything on the camera, but I will share this uh, interesting fact with you. So um, in November, I'm, at the beginning of November, I'm going to go to Shizuoka Prefecture to attend a, the annual uh, street performance festival. And I've always wanted to go to this thing since I've been a high schooler. So finally, now that I have the chance to go, definitely taking it. Anyways though, so I bought the tickets online because there you need tickets to like make sure you can get into the premium stage. But so here's the thing. So when you buy stuff online, you know I told you you can do cash on delivery, but another thing you can do, because I mean there's not gonna be cash on delivery for tickets. So you can do something called pay to convenience store. So look, you order the tickets online, but then you print this out, check it out. You print out something like this, look at this, 7-Eleven. You just take this thing to 7-Eleven. There's a price written on there. The cashier pretty much is like, hey, pay this money. And then once you pay, look, you get the tickets. Whoa, man. So that's another convenient way that you can order things online in Japan. Wow. Alright, let's 
And watch this. Look at this ghetto microwave at my uh, technical school. I'm trying to heat up my rice. Look at this. Watch this. Alright, see in zero seconds. Where's it at? Ten seconds. Oh crap, it's okay, see. So I got it at 110 right now. And you can't go backwards. Look, I'm turning the knob backwards. Turning the knob backwards and it just adds more. Yeah, that's it, two minutes. So every time you go past it, the freaking restart. This thing's such a pain. Let's see if I can get it just right. 40. Oh, 110. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm trying to get it at a minute here. Please. 40. Oh, there we go. No! Alright, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Look at that construction they're doing outside here. Alright guys, so it is September 30. I just finished my first class at the technical school. And now I only have one more class to go. It's pretty much I'm just going to be chilling today until my other class. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on today. Nothing really interesting. Oh, look at the spider web. Holy shit. Wow, the spider has been going to work, man. Oh. Hey guys, I'm at my base school. Just finished everything that I needed to do today, and let me share something with you guys, a little jet philosophy. All right, so I was at my technical school today. First class was pretty all right, you know, just taught my class, whatever, people were quiet. They don't really respond that much because it's technical school, but that's to be expected. The second class, though, half the kids are just sleeping the whole time, not really paying attention, you know, that might make you feel like, oh shit, maybe I'm doing something wrong, this freaking sucks. But, look, really, don't worry about it. Like, at your technical school, the kids, they don't need English in their lives, let's be honest. Like, they don't really need it. They're going straight to college, whatever. I mean, if they enjoy it, that'd be great, but not all of them are going to have an interest, and you can't force them, okay? And the thing is, don't let that affect you so much to where you feel negative and you feel like you just effed up. Because you didn't really eff up. Like, you're doing your best, you're doing all that you can do. Sometimes, you know, it's just not going to get through to them. Anyways, like the thing is don't get so hung up on that and don't get so consumed with your work, okay? Because the thing is, sometimes we forget like why do we even do the JET program? It's not just because you came here because you wanted to teach these kids English, you know? That's of course one of the reasons. Hey look, my teacher's looking at me. <laughs> yeah, but uh, alright, let, let me pause real quick. Alright, sorry guys, that was the music teacher Akiyama Sensen, he came to say hi to me. He's like, why, he's like, why are you talking to yourself? Anyways, so look. Let's, let's be honest, like, we didn't come to the JET program just to teach Japanese kids English. Like, that's one reason you want to teach, whatever, that's cool. And obviously, you know, we're all here for that. But the other reason you came to JET, remember, is to meet new people, make new relationships, connect with new people, and also just to experience Japan, okay? So just because you have some crappy classes at your technical school doesn't mean you should get all hung up and become negative about it, okay? Just don't even worry about it. Like, you're going to have great classes at your other school, so... Just enjoy your time here, guys. So that's pretty much a little uh, jet philosophy from from me. Oh yeah, and the reason that I say that is because I see a lot of your, you know, other jet people, and they're just on like Facebook or whatever, posting like, "Oh, I had a shitty class. Like, oh, I don't know what to do." And they're like so negative, and just it seems like they think because they had one class, like every class is gonna suck from here on out. That's not how it is at all. And the negativity really doesn't help. So you know, you don't need to think like that at all. Just don't even let it phase you. Like, I had a shitty class today, I was like, well, whatever. So, you know, I just gotta keep on swimming along. Yep. Jeez, I locked my bike up for one school day and a freaking spider's built a web from the ground to my bike. Oh, man. Alright. Uh, look at that. It looks like it's just floating in the camera, though. That's pretty cool.